All right, thanks again, guys, for tuning in. We've got a quick trout intruder for you, kind of a mini trout intruder in the vise. I've got a 25 millimeter Waddington shank made by Umqua. The trailer wire, Senyo's intruder trailer wire for hook size six or larger. And hooks, I've got a size four owner mosquito hook. First material, we're gonna use some yellow Angora goat. Just a little bit of, of a pinch of this in the back as a hot spot and you know, something to prop up as well. So we'll use just a little pinch of this in a dubbing loop. And we'll really pick this out and get it to prop up our rear hackle here. So for most of these trout intruders and trout spay flies, I really like to use minimal materials, make them real nice and castable. We'll pick this out here. And that angora goat really sticks up nicely and you don't need a whole lot of it. It'll end up propping up pretty nicely for you. Now we've got it picked out, we'll wrap it pretty tight to the back end here. We, we don't have a whole lot of room on these 25 millimeter shanks. So we wanna make sure that we're, you know, not covering the whole shank with every, every materials. So tie that Angora off. Snip that out. And you can brush that out just a little bit. You'll see how that'll be a nice prop. Next material will be a pheasant rump or a pheasant spay hackle. You can use a hackle of your choice here. I like fairly long, wispy hackles in natural colors. You know, schloppens will work. You know, any kind of longer, longer hackle you like will work great here. Something to give it a little bit of a profile, a little bit of a wiggle. I like to tie the tip of this hackle down the shank pretty far and just keeps that locked in there nicely. A couple of turns of this pheasant will fold these fibers back, but a couple of turns will be just enough coverage back here. And with these intruders, you know, we're making a nice profile. Also making them nice and buggy. That looks pretty good. So we want a nice buggy profile. And aside from a profile, your fly will have a little bit of a wiggle as well. So we'll trim that out. Nice and buggy so far. The next material, we're gonna use some Wapsi Silly Legs and Pumpkin Green and Orange. We're just gonna use one leg on each side. So I've gone ahead and taken one long leg out and we'll use this one leg to cover both sides. So just gonna tie it in on the far side or the side that's towards me, right along the shank there. And we'll go a couple wraps forward and then we'll rotate the fly and lightly pull that leg as we wrap to the other side and then we'll lock that lock that in and, and we'll wrap right up against our rear hackle, trying to keep the legs in position. Next material will be some medium cactus chenille in black. And this is just a small, almost like a little crystal chenille. We'll pull off some of the material to reveal the cord there. Tie in our chenille, kind of using that long cord to help lock that in. And we'll advance our thread so it was about an eighth of an inch left. You want to make sure you've got enough room for the final materials. Go ahead and start wrapping this forward and touching turns. And we'll be pulling these little fibers back as we go. 
and these trout intruders you know the key is you know with all intruders is minimal materials the appearance of a larger fly so it will help with casting especially you know, your lighter skagit setups a couple of wraps to lock that in and so now we've got our rear hackle our body done and now we'll tie our forward hackles in for this intruder and I really like to use mallard this is a kind of a golden mallard here or a duck flank and for these flies I really like to use the longest mallard I can find it just helps with you know some good coverage so I'm gonna end up tying this down the feather just a little bit and we'll tie this in once again I like to really secure that tip in and then I'll cut it out not too many turns of this mallard enough to kind of give it a bigger profile up front we'll fold these hackles back we'll pull them back as we tie two maybe three turns of this it's kind of personal preference, but I like it to be sparse and buggy. It looks two turns looks pretty good, so I'll tie that off here. And we've got enough room at the front of the fly to kind of make a you know a small head and a lot of different options here you can use um, I like to use some pheasant marabou's on occasion for this fly I'm actually going to use some soft grizzly hackle so this is some spirit river UV soft grizzly hackle and that is in a tan color and I have found one that's got some nice uh, nice barbs and then a little bit of marabou so we'll Try to get a few of those barbs in there. So we'll tie this grizzly hackle, this soft grizzly hackle in. I really like to lock that tip in there. And you could leave it in there or cut it out. For now, I'm just gonna leave it in there. Fold these hackles, makes it easier to tie. And then we'll want to make sure we have enough room for a thread head, but we want to get a decent chunk of this marabou tied in there. So we'll really be trying to try to get some of that marabou in there for a nice head. And then once we feel like we've got enough of that marabou in, we'll go ahead and lock that in, pull everything back and lock it in a little bit further. And so with any of these little micro intruders, you can certainly substitute all of these materials. The key is, is getting the right profile, the right kind of bugginess. And I think a really important thing with all spay flies, you know, or spay casting flies, skagit flies, is yes, your skagit lines can cast heavy flies, but it's really nice when you don't have to. And so a fly like this will, you know, it's a larger looking fly in the water, but it's super light, unweighted, and really, really easy to cast. So we'll do two whip finishes here, and then you can finish off with your favorite head cement of choice and I'll go ahead and run my dubbing brush through here and you can see there's a lot of a lot of nice profile on this fly a lot of bugginess with those mallard hackles rubber legs are just a little bit longer than your hook 
We can trim those two to be just a little bit longer than the hook or longer, a little bit longer than your longest material. There's an easy to tie trout intruder. Thanks for watching.